Hey, what's happening, guys? Um, I had this camera laying around for a while, and I think either Tracy or one of the boys bought it, They're like a Christmas present. But this thing's been laying around for a while, so I said, anyway, let me let's see if this thing works. Right? It's a, as you can see, a Vivitar Smart Security Outdoor Wi-Fi camera. Now, I've watched a couple of YouTube videos, and people are using it inside, but but it says outdoor. So, struck my curiosity. Um, I want to get straight to it. So, it comes with this cord right here, right? It comes with this pretty long cord. Um, hang on. Okay, it comes with this pretty long um, USB power cord that you can plug in. My only problem is that I don't I'm I don't think you can pull this in out of here right here, you know. And I don't want to break it, but I think this cord is made to this camera. So anyway, that's one of my concerns is. Why is it called outdoor if you can't pull the power plug out of it? So the first thing you want to do is, of course, plug it up. By the way, guys, this camera was like $35. Okay, guys, so when you plug it up, you should hear that sound right there. And you should get the these red lights should be on. You should also hear a beeping sound, guys, like beep, 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 like that. Next, you want to download the Vivitar Smart Security 2 app. Next, you want to go to Add Device. Now, I'm going to zoom in for you to help make it easier for you. So right here you want to go to add device and then and then scroll down to camera and it might say camera and lock. That's what mine says. Then click smart camera. And from there you want to click on smart camera 2.4 gigahertz. If you don't do that, it might not work. Because at first I kept clicking that first one to say smart camera Wi-Fi and it wasn't working. And then as soon as I clicked on the 2.4 gigahertz, bam, it started working. Okay, now all you have to do is hold that giant QR code in front of the camera. That's the sound you want to hear. And now it's going to start installing and syncing the camera to the app. Okay, guys, and this is a vid this is a live video of how the camera looks. You see, it has good color. I'm just I'm just kind of playing with it, but um, once again, my concern is that I don't know why they call this an outdoor camera. I don't know why they call it an outdoor camera because, like I say, unless you got power going to this thing. It's not going to work. I mean, I don't, I don't see it talking about uh, internal battery or anything. Now, here's something else too, guys. If you take these two screws out, and this is where the speaker is. And by the way, that is a two-way speaker, so you can talk to somebody, and somebody can talk back to you. You can add a uh, SD card for this, supposedly. But you have to find a screwdriver to fit these little, like, jeweler screws. And, um,. I mean, it's definitely a nice indoor camera, but 
unless you got power going to this thing, you're going to mount this outside, right? You're going to have to have power going to it continuously. Because if you if you unplug this power cord, this camera stops stops working. The app itself has nice features though, as you can see. And the subscription is pretty cheap. It's like four dollars and something a month for the cloud. By the way, how many people remember the John Larroquette show from the 90s? Wow, I don't. And now he's back on TV on the Night Court reboot. Talk about longevity. <laughs>